Hello and welcome to this talk. Sharing is caring. Push your cloud application to an OCI registry. I am Sylvain Lubecki, senior software engineer working at Docker. And my name is George Lukic and I am also a senior software engineer working at Docker. So why this talk? Last year, we worked a lot on Synapse specifications and we were trying to figure how to share a cloud application without reinventing the wheel. The obvious answer was to reuse the container registry infrastructure. We will share the knowledge we acquired working on the Synapse to OCI library to push and pull application artifact on the registry. Together, we will run through the following outline of this presentation. We will first talk about container registries in Tresix, so you will know what really happens behind a Docker push and a Docker pull. Then, in a second part, we will go deeper and decipher what we did on Synab, pushing a whole application to a registry. So first, let's talk about container registries and how they work. So what is a container registry? It is an HTTP REST server that stores and shares container images. They can be public, like Docker Hub, or you can run your own private registry, like Harbor. The registries follow the distribution specification protocol. We will see it briefly in a few slides. Uh, so container registries uh, are following the Open Container Initiatives specifications, which, are, which were inspired by the Docker registry protocol. And it's, the specification is split into three different specifications. There is the distribution one, which focuses on the REST protocol itself. The image uh, specification describes the objects that are stored in a registry and also how they link together. And there's finally the runtime specification that explains how to execute a container once all the objects have been, have been pulled for the registry. There is also the RunC project, uh, which is an implementation of this runtime specification. And this one is used by Docker or Containerd. So now let's see what's an OCI image. So a container image is the sum of an OCI manifest that you can see on the left, a configuration object and a set of layers. The manifest is specific for an, act an architecture and an operating system. And all it really does is just points to the configuration object and the layers using content digests. So that way, uh, a client knows uh, what objects he needs to fetch from the registry. The layers uh, contain the actual data of the container, and they are stored as tar gzip blobs inside the registry. The configuration object itself declares some metadata like the author or the image creation date. And it also holds the execution parameters for the container, like the expose ports or the entry point uh, of the container. And it also contains an ordered list of layers. So just a little note is that the manifest itself is used for the distribution part and the configuration object is used by the container runtime to execute the image. Uh, so let's see how, how does a manifest look like. So it's basically just a, a JSON object. And if you look closely at the objects um, for each layer and the configuration, you can see that they are, they are represented by the same object. And this is what we call a content descriptor. And a content descriptor has different fields, which are the, which are the media type, is the, the media type of the content. It has its byte size of the raw content. There's also a content identifier that we call digest. And finally, not shown here, but we will see uh, briefly, is uh, the platform for that content descriptor. So now let's see what happens when I pull an image. So when I pull an image, so many things happen behind the scene. First, we ask the registry to resolve the image reference, which returns a descriptor pointing to the manifest. Then we can fetch and parse the manifest, which gives us references to the config objects and all the layers. 
and so we can download everything in parallel. So now let's see the other way around. What happens when you push an image? So when you push an image, you first need to push all the content. So here I'm, I'm pushing my layer, the first layer, the second layer, and every each time up here, the registry returns a descriptor. Now, once I pushed all the layers, I can push the configuration object too. And once I've pushed everything, I have all the, all the descriptors and I can finally push the manifest itself. And now let's see what is a multi-arch OCI image. To run the same image on multiple platforms, like uh, Linux or Windows or AMD64 and ARM, um, we will need uh, one manifest for each platform. And we, we introduce OCI indexes to address that. An OCI index provides a list of manifests for different platforms, and one platform is a couple OS and architecture. As seen before on the OCI manifest, the OCI index uses descriptors to reference other manifests. It adds the optional platform property, so the client knows which manifest it needs to pull for the, the right platform. A multi-arch image is basically just a collection of images, but this architecture is not restricted to only multi-arch images, and we can do much more with it. And now let's see how does a, a registry store all these images. So a container registry uh, store them uh, inside the repository. Now let's see how that works. So the a repository can contain multiple different artifacts with multi with different media types. Uh, so you can have configurations, you can have layers or manifests or index and even just blobs. It also contains tags. Um, a tag can point to any con any different context. And also wanting to note a tag can also be overwritten, so it's not immutable. For example, uh, the latest tag um, is, is often used to, to to point to the latest version of your of your image. And note also that each artifact inside the repository has a digest, and that's what we use to to point to the to the content itself. And that's for me. And now let's see uh, what is an image reference, a tag or a digest. Um, there are multiple ways to reference the same image. You can use a short notation, like for example, the line one for official images, uh, like for example, Nginx, or you can see on line two for a custom repository. And this is expanded to the full notation on the right, appending docker.io slash library and adding the latest tag by default. The third line is pretty much the same as the first two ones, except that we are using a custom registry. You can, as seen on line 4, also set a specific tag, which is also called a fully qualified artifact reference. As we said earlier, a tag is mutable, and sometimes you want to be sure to always get the same image or blob, and for that we use the digested notation. On line 5, you can see an example of such a notation. A digested notation can also include the tag, but that tag is ignore, ignored in this case, and only the digest is used. You can see yet that on line 6. So usually, you will use the digested notations when you want reproducibility, such as a production environment. And if you sign the manifest with notary, it's a way to avoid someone tampering with the image contents. But this is out of scope for this talk. And now we're going to talk uh, about a case study. Uh, so last year, we managed to push a CNAB application to uh, a registry using only using the OCI building blocks that we just saw. So first, 
let's talk about a little bit about what's CNAP. Uh, so CNAP is the cloud native application bundle specification. It's not a tool. It it's 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 a specification to for, for a way to package and deploy your cloud native applications. And the specification handles the installation, the upgrade, and the uninstallation of your application. It can also have um, your application can also have parameters and credentials if needed. Uh, so CNAP bundle is a set of uh, service images, which which are, are the parts of your application. It has also an installer image and also a manifest, which is called the bundle.json. And different tools uh, implement this specification, like the Docker app um, or Porter from Days Labs. And there's, there is also finally the Duffel, which is the reference implementation. And thanks to this, uh, thanks to this, we can now push and pull multi multi service applications to a registry, and then we can use multiple tools to install or uninstall. And we put a link so you can check out the specification if you want. So here's um, an example of a bundle JSON. Uh, what you can see, it has um, some metadata, like the name or the description of the application. It has the application image, which is also called the installer image, because this is the image that will effectively install your application. And then finally, there are some images, which are the, your service images of the application. And so, yeah, like, like I said before, the bundle can also define credentials and parameters, which are injected uh, in the installer container at runtime. So now let's see how we can push a bundle as an OCI index. The first version of CNAP specification had a distribution part, but we quickly realized that we can leverage the OCI specification thanks to it being just a graph of content descriptors with different media types. The OCI specification doesn't restrict the use of OCI indexes to multi arch images. You can store almost anything you want, as long as you meet the specification, and it's quite open. We use this openness to push the bundle.json, but also the invocation image, the installer, and the service images. It pushes everything in the same repository, so one has the guarantee that when someone pulls her or his bundle, all the components can be pulled as well. The structure of the CNAB is like a multi-arch image, but it differs in that its components are not platform-specific images, but different parts of the CNAB. It contains descriptor that points to the blob, where we store the original JSON of the bundle. It then lists the invocation and service images of the bundle. With this architecture, you can push, store, and share your whole application multi with multiple services, as a single artifact. To install a bundle, the CNAB runtime will fetch the OCI index, resolve the config object storing the bundle.json, and then execute the installation as if the bundle was stored locally. And now it's and time for demo. Now it's time for a small demo. So let me share my screen. Right, can you see my screen? I guess you can. Okay, so uh, in this demo, we are going to take a CNAB, a CNAB application, and then push it with one tool, and then uh, pull it with another, and then run with the third tool. So this is the, the application uh, we are going to use. So like before, like I said, you can see some uh, metadata with the name, the schema version, the version of the application, the description, and everything else. So it has also the invocation image. This one is, this is a, a small invocation image that was done by, by box that, that works on CNAB, which uh, responds to each, to, to the installation, but will just output um, a message. It won't really install the image, uh, the application, sorry. And then you have the images. We have a one Nginx and one Redis. Uh, here we put the, the content digest and not the tag because these are these are multi-platform images and um, 
my internet is not really great here, so I just wanted to push one image not for every platform over there. So we are going first to uh, push this application with the tool that we worked on with uh, Sylvain, which is called Synapto CI. So this is let's just see what's happening here. So we're calling we added some log level debug so that we can see closer what's happening. We want to push. So I have, so as I forgot to show, I have my Harbor uh, repository uh, registry uh, running locally and it's, um, it doesn't have HTTPS. So I need to tell to synap to ci that Harbor.io is an insecure registry and I want to push my bundle.json. Uh, so let's just talk a little bit about this flag. So the auto update bundle uh, will tell the, the synap to ci tool to go over each of the images and the evocation images and resolve the digests. So these two images are already resolved, but the invocation image is not resolved. So it will go over and look at the, at the content digest of this image. And this is needed for, um, for, for Synapse to CI. So that way when you push, so it, it knows exactly what to push when it pushes. And finally, I just give it a tag and let's go. So what happened here? Um, first, we we have a fixing step. There, we need to resolve all the digested reference and update the Synapse bundle in memory uh, with it before pushing it. For that, we copy all the images, the installer and the service images from the Docker Hub to the Harbor instance inside the same repository and then retrieve the descriptors uh, written by the, uh, the registry. Then the bundle uh, is muted, and now it's immutable. We don't need to uh, mutate it again. It has every digested reference updated, and it's ready to be pushed. Then we push it as a config object. We create a manifest, a new manifest pointing to the config object, and push it to Harbor. Then we create the OCI index pointing to the Synite bundle manifest, to the installer image manifest, and to the service images manifest. And all, again, everything is in the same repository. And in the end, we get the digest of the OCI index computed by the registry. Right. Now, let's see what's going on over at Harbor. So if I refresh uh, my page, I can see that we really did manage to push our application. So if you go over there, now one thing you can see is this little icon here, and this is the logo of, this, of the CNAP specification. So uh, the, the Harbor Registry uh, knows how to handle, um, um, knows it's, what's, sorry? Yeah, the, it knows the CNAP uh, media type. It knows the CNAP media type, yes, thank you. Uh, and now if we go and see what's in there, we can see that we have the our evocation image, our two service images, and this is uh, our bundle that we pushed as a, as a JSON. So let's just compare that to what we pushed to this OCI index that we pushed here. Just a sec, I need to tell you if it's JSON. And if I format, okay. So this is the OCI index that uh, Synapse to OCI pushed. So uh, maybe I can show them like this. So you can see that there is there is the the configuration here. It's shy. It's 96B. So we can hear we can see it over here. Then we have the invocation image with the SHA A A59, which is also over here, and then the Nginx component and the Redis component. So basically what we did here is we took this bundle JSON, which is the Synapse application, and then we converted it to this uh, OCI index. Now, what can we do <laughs> with this? This is great because we, we just managed to push an application, but it would be even more awesome if we could do something with it. 
So now we're going to use uh, the tool made by Days Labs, which is called Porter. So I can, with Porter, I can install this install this application. Uh, same as before, I need to tell it that this is an insecure registry. Uh, I give the name for the installation, and then I tell it what to install. So if I if I do an install, what you can see is that it 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 pulled it pulled the application, and then it executed the um, the um, the invocation image, which just printed out that this is the install action that was called. Now we can also inspect inspect uh, the application and Porter can see that it has one invocation image and then it has the nginx image and the redis one and finally we can try to do the same like Porter install but with docker app a docker app this is called the run so if i do docker app run and i give it then the the name of my application, we can see that it executed the same invocation image and we can see the same output, which is the install action here. And like that's pretty much it for the demo. Great, thank you. Um, so um, that's a theory, of course. And now let's talk about the practical issues we had. Um, as you surely guessed, this doesn't work on all container registries. Um, some, like Nexus, uh, don't support uh, multi-arch images at all. Some registries don't like the fact that we have custom media types. And others don't like that we are missing manifest lists and OCI indexes. So yeah, lots of issues. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, there's no conformance test suite that will help implementers to be more in line with the specifications. Also, uh, last year, the OCI announced the Artifacts project that will extend the reach of a single repository to encompass multiple artifacts, such as Kubernetes deployment files, Helm charts, and other evolving formats alongside containers. Here are some tools and library, libraries uh, we use for Synapse to OCI. Um, the first one is the Docker distribution library, uh, which is used by almost all registries. Um, we also played a lot with container D uh, libraries um, to play with um, uh, container images. Um, we also have the Google one, which is pretty good. Uh, there's also a really good uh, tool, which is Dive, um, to check what's inside an image, layer by layer. And of course, uh, our Synab.io slash synab to oci library um, that we gave to the Synab.io um, organization this year. Well, thank you for listening to this talk, and let's now have a Q&A session. Thank you. Thank you.